a UK-owned ship attacked by Houthi militants last month sank in the Red Sea. The U.S. military confirmed that the vessel's cargo of hazards, fertilizer, posed a risk to marine life. The Ruby Mar is the first vessel lost since the Houthis began targeting commercial ships. Those drone and missile assaults have forced shipping firms to divert ships to the longer route around southern Africa disrupting global trade by delaying deliveries and sending costs higher. The sinking ball carrier also presents a subsurface impact risk to other ships. Transiting the busy shipping lanes of the waterway, U.S. Central Command said in its statement. The Houthis who control the north of Yemen and other large centers say their campaign is a show of solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. The Houthi attacks have prompted a series of strikes against their positions by the United States and Britain, and have led other navies to send vessels to the region to try to protect the vital Suez Canal trade route. The Ruby Mar went down in the Southern Red Sea late on Friday, according to statements from the Yemen government and Sankum. The U.S. military previously said the 18 missile attack had significantly damaged the bulk vessel and caused an 18-mile oil slick. The ship was carrying about 21,000 metric tons of fertilizer. The release of such large amounts of fertilizer into the Red Sea poses a serious threat to marine life. And the overload of nutrients can stimulate the excessive growth of algae, using up so much oxygen that regular marine life cannot survive. An urgent plan should be adopted by countries of the Red Sea to establish a monitoring agenda of the populated areas in the Red Sea as well as adopt a cleanup strategy.